Hey guys, Lima here. Today I have a box of pennies hunt and I found this ender. I'll be opening this one live. Unlike the nickel hunts in this video, I'm not going to be um, pulling you guys in every single time I find something because uh, I'm not finding that much and the wrap up will be long enough. I think it will be more enjoyable for you guys because pennies aren't as fun as nickels in my opinion. And I will see you while I'm opening this roll. Okay, you guys, I have my pocket knife now. Unlike in the nickel hunt video, I'm just going to open this up. And see what that ender is together. That's not going to come out very well. Hmm, what shall I do? Try more. More force! Ah! My, hand, my finger's turning red. Okay. And I have the wheat ender as the only one left in there, so let's see what it is. 1958 Denver. And my finger's stuck in here. Okay, let's see what everything here is. We'll put that aside. Okay, so I don't believe there's any more. Okay, guys, I thought I'd bring you in because I found these two coins. 1952. And I don't think that there's a mint mark on it. And then a 1942S, which actually broke my roll because it's so much larger than... The average penny and they're so beat up like you can barely tell that they're wheat pennies and I look over my book and guess what I need 1952 and 1942 s the two things I find are that I need in my book are so beat up I don't even know if it's worth putting them in my book I don't even know if this is gonna be able to like fit because it's so much so beat up and it's like bigger. The 52 kind of fits. I already tested the 42S. It doesn't fit at all. So yeah. I'll pull you in if I find anything interesting. But other than that, it's just going to be the okay, wrap-up. you guys. It's about a week after I finished the box of pennies hunt. I have the wrap-up ready, and I'm going to show you guys everything I found in that hunt. And I'll see you All there. Right, guys, I have everything I found in that hunt from the copper to the wheat pennies here, the 2017 peas, and all the Canadians. So, one thing I'm going to point out before I start is that when I was re-rolling this, I filled exactly 40 rolls, which means I found exactly 500 pennies because five dollars i i had five i found exactly five dollars in pennies and that is 500 pennies so that that's something that i found pretty cool because that means i can calculate exactly how much copper pennies i found by adding up how much how many pennies i have here which is 54 plus blah blah, blah. i'll do the math later all right so let's get started right now so first i'm going to show you guys the canadians i found Found a 1968, two 1980s, a 1984, and a 1989. And here we have 2017 peas. I found a full roll of 2017 peas. And I found four extra. Right here, they are all 2017 peas. The reason I keep these is because 2017 is the first and last year that the mint will ever put a pea on the penny so they're good to keep because they're never going to put a pea on there again so then i found 
the in date order all these wheat pennies I found. I found a 1942S, which I need for my book, but I can't put in because, as you can see, it goes over the edge of an actual penny, and it's a little bit bigger, so it won't be able to fit in there. I don't, I, I don't know a good way to show you, but like you can see that it's going over. And then I found a 1945S again. Estimate marks pretty cool. 46, two 1946s. One of these was super duper 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 worn. And when I found it, I found it like that, and I was like, "What is that? I can't even like see a design." I looked up close, and I was like, "Oh, that's a wheat penny. Is this gonna be like from the early teens?" And I turned it over, and it said 1946, and I was like, "Wow, you gotta be kidding me right now." Then I'm 1947D. 1948S, 1951D, a 52 that I also need for my book, but similar to the other one, it's so beat up, it barely fits. You can see how it's slightly larger than a regular penny. And I found 1956D, 1957D, and the ender was a 1958D. And so if we calculate how much copper we have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Plus fifty is seventy, so that's going to be easy math. I found exactly four hundred and thirty copper pennies, which is the value of that is about eight hundred cents because it's copper. And each one's worth about one and a half cents in copper or like two cents. I don't know what it is right now. But that's everything I found. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And soon I should have a box of half dollars hunt. That's going to be in two weeks from now. So it'll have it'll be a while. I don't know what I'm going to be filming since then. For, like in between now and then. But I'll see you guys for those videos. And I'll see you there. Peace.